Okay, so it looks like we're going to have uh, Ginyu, Yamcha, and Android 16 on one team versus Cell, Super Saiyan Goku, and Kid Buu. So, Android 16 making another appearance, Cell making his first appearance in the tournament. Let's see what both these players can do. Looks like we're going into West Sea. Any music, doesn't matter. We can't hear it up here anyway, but as long as the players are enjoying it, that's the important part. And we're going to jump right in. So, let's see what Ginyu and Cell can do off the beginning of this match. Loading screens are such a bait, man. They get me every time. Ugh. Here we go. Here we go. Biggest question, of course, will the players skip the intros or not? We'll find out. That's it. I respect it. Show me the Ginyu Force. Get the poses going. And he skips the cell intro. Punish him. Punish himself. Thank you. Gets in there, so it looks like both players. Playing a little hesitant. Oh, maybe a button issue. Looks like both players just kind of checking things out. And we're going to the button setting screen again. And back to the beginning of the match. Ladies and gentlemen, please check your buttons before you start any games. This is going to happen more than a few times it seems throughout the tournament. It's alright, both players have gone for the, the sportsman start again. But in a bigger tournament, do be aware that if you do not change your buttons at the start of the game, it's entirely possible the other player can just say, mm, that round is mine, and you've lost the game for nothing. So if you are reasonably new to these tournament settings or anything like that, please do check before you go into the match. Meanwhile, I will chill a little bit longer with this lovely wet patch next to me here. <laughs> it seems to be leaking slightly from the roof, so I'm uh, tentatively sat trying not to uh, get a wet ass. And it looks like both players are going in. Again, so here we go. Cell and Captain Ginyu, off to start again. Willow, looks like he's coming to join me. Hello, friend. Hey, hey. How's it going, everyone? Not going badly at all. This is a fresh... Brand new game, brand new players, brand new faces, really. Yeah, no, it's wonderful to see all these uh, different new people, and even people from old games coming together in a game that they wouldn't have played each other in. Well, before. as I said, we have Marvel players, we have Street Fighter players, we have anime players, all gathered up. See how much Marvel sucks. Oh, here we go. So, more white man, immediately more aggressive than I have not seen any team you actually. I'm actually quite intrigued with how we'll play. Ooh. So, he's got that rotating set of assists, so he's used the Riku Beam. Next one up is going to be, I think, uh, Burr. Yeah. You can't control it, isn't it? You have to figure out what order it's coming in. So yeah. You kind of plan it in advance. So, he's got this Jace one coming up in a second. Milky Cannon, level two, yeah. into Yamcha Spirit Ball. Will it kill? Does not kill. So, I guess the Vanish. Looking for a clean hit. Wolfang Fist swaps sides, but he gets hit. And now it's Zed's turn to uh, show him what he's got. Oh, Switches out character safely. I like that. Oh, no set of physical sprints to do it. Brings him down to the ground. Of course, one of the benefits of Yamcha as a character is that he can actually get a knockdown off pretty much any situation. He does. He's also got some really, like, where the meat of just go running across him. But he's doing some good. Well, uh, not paired off there just to attack and sell. Gets down to the ground. Zed looking for another clean hit. Oh, Ooh, good punish. Good whiff punish by my white man with, the, with Ginyu there. Takes out the first character cell. Does not respect the cannon. Hard times. Screw the law. <laughs> Screw the law. Oh, Kamehameha oh, Kamehameha. hits off the start of the round. Good man, Zed. Guess the vanish. Nice. Excellent there. five heavy. Yeah, dash. What's for setup? What is that? Now, see, that's uh, the uh, one of the better assists that Ginyu has. Right at the end of the chain, the uh, Jason Burt are coming together for that. He's, I like that. He's the Guldo assist, and he's got Riku in the cannon now. Oh, oh I see what he's there we go, and there are just too many assists. It's really yeah. difficult to get past when there are not many bodies in your way when there you're trying are, to hit somebody. There are, but the thing is, because you, I think if, once you I guess it's just something you have to know, but because you're in a certain order, you can figure out what's coming next. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Clocks him a couple of times. There we go. Down to the ground. Oh, catch him no, Now again, we're back down to the beginning of the assist side. I thought this guy Ginyu was a bad character, but he's... No. Oh, man, told you it's ground. He's all this ground in there. However, Zed is finding his way in. There we go. Still Looking got sparking down. left. Chooses not to use it yet. Misses it. Ooh! Oh, 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 and gets that blue combo. That's it. Just extracted. No, he just got straight into Super Dash. There we go. Oh, it's not oh, oh, bad timing! But it's going to heal too much. I don't think this I'm, is actually going to kill him. No, oh, it, it does! does, it, does it, it does! It does! It tons of damage. <laughs> Good reaction from Mort, man, there. Hey, when you know, you know. And this is the thing, like, because X-Factor's usually said this is un... You know, you have to find a good opportunity. In fact, 
If you do it from full screen, then you can get any sort of vanish mm. opportunity. So you kind of want to do it in like a safe string or in something basically. Like a combo you, extender yeah, or something yeah, like I think that. So, yeah, yeah, or a combo extender. I think that's something I'm, I'm not used to. The, the resistance of the combo extender is kind of one of the things you just have to learn as an extra combo. Okay, so it looks like we are switching characters. Uh, Zed looked like he was going into a trunks though, maybe not feeling entirely comfortable with his cell. Um, Moatman, of course, playing very well. As you were saying, you've He's not seen a lot of Ginyu before. He has, no. It's a very obscure character, especially in Crossing Online mm. method, the one where Ginyu is just almost not played at all. Yeah, and when you're playing a Marvel game like this, having a character that's got uh, extra assists coming out, things that just cover the screen yeah. and do, um, even just being unpredictable is uh, well, really, really powerful, I think. Well, yeah, you say, I think because you don't know what is going on, you have to, because yeah. you this little character experience matchup, you have no idea what's going on. So let's see how he starts off. We're going for the trunks instead of the cell this time. I like I like trunks as a character. I think he's got some really good movements, got lots of good overheads. Okay, so it looks like he's just whiffing the Guldo assist there so he can use the Recum assist later on, that kind of big powerful oh, you beam. Right. Yeah, you are, you're right. There you go. Nice. Get him in this dirty setup. Gets the knockdown, choose him not to spend the super just yet. Oh. Watch out for those Ginyu Force! I'm, I'm liking this! Oh, oh, that was true. I'm, li I'm liking this where he's just controlling, he's understanding what order they're coming in. Mm -hmm. not. Sort of like a predetermined setup already. Yeah, and it's really throwing Zed off his game. Um, he's, he's, he's clearly looking for very specific moments to go in to attack. Yeah. Um, and he's just really struggling. He goes right in again, back into the Yamcha. Gets the instant air dash into the hit. He's gonna go for the knockdown, will he spend any bar? He does level two into Spirit Ball again. We saw this going last time. He's trying to control it so he gets the knockdown. He gets oh, the setup. Beautiful use of the air. Uh, nope. Clean hit, nice. finishes him off. Wonderful. And that was really nice there by Moat Man, controlling the Spirit Ball to get the knockdown, yeah. using it to set up his Wolfang Fist on the other side. Mm. And really Ooh, showing nice that he knows how to do the team. Difficult combo though. Well, straight Super Dash, catches it. Good 2H, recognized that Zed wanted to push buttons after that ball. Knock him down. Super. That's not going to be enough. He's going to go spark it straight away. We're going to serve it. Oh, oh does this no! Work? Oh, no. that scared me for a bit. Then I thought that, that there's was, no chance that was going. That to was work. cheeky. Did he clip him? He did clip him. It would have been sick. <laughs> would I would love sick. to. I would love to see Zed's King you. <laughs> well, we're not going to see it today. <laughs> Moat Man's kid boo. But we're not going to see it today. <laughs> Moat Man takes the game. Both uh, players sharing a handshake. Good game to both of them. And there we go. So a little taste of what King you can do as a character there. I'm intrigued. I think I, I really threw him off for a while because I thought he was a joke character, but he, he, he made him look good. Mm.